got some rock piles for me. What's up, everybody? What it do? What it do, man? Y'all, glad to be back crushing, man. I don't have to deal with them damn mobile homes and buses, man. Cause yesterday, whew, man, that mobile home, man, that that five, that burnt the fiberglass, man, ate my ass up last night. Ate it up, ate it up last night, man. I couldn't even, I couldn't even sleep well last night. I really couldn't at all. For that 250 XL, man, first victim to go. Man, they always, they're always the first ones to go, regardless of the situation. Everything goes. First bucket and all. Hardly. Don't you hate it when you when you're doing something, then all of a sudden your goddamn spit go down the wrong windpipe and then your ass choking like you done got coronavirus or some shit. Oh my god, this is going on right now. Goddamn old spit choke the shit out of me. Jesus Christ. 92 Ford F-250. Look like Mexico already done claimed some victims, some body parts off of them, man. Still got some nice old seats. They all right. Truck bed was all right until I got my hands on it. It's all right, toolbox. Had some good parts in the front till I got a hold to her. Big diesel up off in there. He's staying. Not even worth me pulling out. So I had somebody ask me, what are the most common cars that I crush on a daily basis? a lot of cars I crush on a daily basis here. But most of them, I would say, I would say the TCLs, the old Chitty Chevys. Uh, I'll say a lot of the dumpster Dodges on a daily basis. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a quite a few more. Uh, you got the cracked up Kias. You got the fall apart Hondas. Uh, Man, I mean, you, you got the, uh, um, you got the, the, the pieces of shit, the BMWs and the, uh, and the Mercedes. Oh, uh, man, I mean, these are a lot of cars that I do crush on a daily, daily, daily basis. You know, I mean, there's no, there's no way of getting around it on here. It's really not, there's no way of getting around it on these here. having these big old trucks up here in the front like this while I'm trying to while I'm trying to crush your stuff but yeah I mean those are those are a lot of the cars that I crush on a daily basis I mean just the everyday basic basic I mean basic car crush you know I wouldn't say no classic or nothing like that but you know I mean it's basic is all it is I mean that is my daily daily crush those what those are right there. I mean, that's an everyday thing. Can't forget about the Audis. Can't forget about the uh, 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 the trash lag jacks. I can't forget about those because I crush a lot of those too also. You know, a lot of the nasty nates. You know, I crush a lot of them, man. It's a lot of stuff I crush on a daily basis. You know, I mean, I crush a lot of big trucks just like now. I crush a lot of big trucks. So just the other day, I had one of my homeboys watching my videos, and he was like, gee, he was like, man, why are you naming these damn me cars, these old crazy ass damn me names? I said, dude, because I want everybody to see, I want everybody to see, man, what these cars are really, are really for, man. I mean, why, but you know what they really are in real life. I mean, shit, they're trash, man. That's all they are. They're straight trash. 
I mean, you got cars. I mean, you got classic cars that can last longer than these damn retainers. That's the reason why I get crazy-ass names. You know, because it's what they are. You got, you know, so like you say, you got the cracked-up kills. You got the old Jag Lags. You got the trash can Fords. I mean, come on, man. I mean, what do you expect, man? What do you expect? I mean, seriously, plus and then, and then plus, uh, and then plus uh, is, is, is for the entertainment too also. That's part of the reason why I name it too also. And he was like, okay, I, I got you now, man. I got you now, dude. Because he was like, first, I didn't really just understand. And I was like, dude, man, a lot of people be saying, I don't understand why you do that. Because, man, it's for the fun and the entertainment. That's why. I mean, shit, I'm not doing it because of my health. Come on, man. Can I get this baby up out of here? Oh, yeah, I think I got her stuck up off in here. God damn. Let's see if I can maybe pull it out this side here, then I think I got it straight. Got her out. Oh, I'm make sure I don't want to crush my damn phone sitting right there, dog. Oh, man. I don't really feel like paying no, paying no couple hundred dollars for the new damn new phone to get. Really, dog. Man, this sucker right here is heavy, heavy, heavy. Man, I would do a would do bag attack, but we ain't even got our our uh, I rolled the rap on this side over here. We got it on this side of the yard now. Still gotta get all these all these damn piles of rock. I still gotta still gotta spread out and everything else I gotta do. But it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. There you go. You know the Chevy trucks got an 83, 84, 710 long bed right here, y'all. Right there, man. Man, and she got some really good parts on her, too. She really do. But look at that nasty cast that's coming now. You can't see it because my boom is right there in the way. But it is some nasty gas coming out that gas tank. Man, I mean, ugh. I hate the crush it, y'all, to be honest with you, man, because that damn thing got some really good parts. <sighs> man, y'all see, you'll see, you will see. Come on, girl, come on down to the price is right. G-Money gonna get you nice and tight. Man. God, y'all, man, this is just, this is just heartbreaking right here. It really is. It's just heartbreaking. Yeah, so for all these Jeeps now, I'm just going to call them Junkie Jeeps. That's exactly what they are. They're, bunch of, they're, they're, they're junk. The Junkie Jeeps. Jeep Liberties. Any type of Jeep. It's a Junkie Jeep. That's exactly what it is. That's going to be my name for all of any Jeep, like I said. That's what it's going to be. So speaking on this 83 Chevy here. I was just talking to one of my homeboys not too long ago, probably about like 20 minutes ago. I was just talking to him about this long bed that I got here. And he was like, oh, dude, man, I'm fixing on one right now. And such and such. And I'm trying to find this. I was like, damn, this don't even have any of the stuff that you're looking for at all. It don't have none of it. And he was like, damn. He was like, well, anything, he was like, well, anything you can salvage off of? I said, man. Be honest with you, man. I mean, there's a lot of good parts, but they're just not for your truck. That's the only problem. They're not for your truck. He's like, man. He's like, damn, Jay. I said, yeah, man. It sure do suck, man. It really does. It really does suck. Mario, you gonna what? Mario, you gonna get that cart ran over one of these days? Yeah, there you go. 
just go ahead and stick this baby up off in there. But yeah, like I said, back to my homeboy, but he is fixing the one right now. He has the exact same one, but it's a little bit different than that one there. So right now, man, right now, he already started from the frame. He already put a whole new frame up on it. Then done, I uh, done, uh, redid his cab, redid his bed. Uh, he got a little bitty, some type of little bitty check suspension on the front. He's got a positive track on it. He ain't painted it yet. He ain't told me what color he was talking about painting. So I'm, I'm waiting on that right there. And then I'm actually trying to wait to see if he's gonna see what motor he's gonna put it. I don't know if he's gonna put like a big 400 or a big 454 or great. I don't know what he's gonna do yet. He ain't even decided yet. He's like, man, I don't even know yet, dude. I don't know what size I'm gonna do this. Like, man, you got nothing but time, baby. Don't be in no rush. You ain't got nothing but time. That's all you have. Man, shh, don't be too much in don't be too much in a rush. Mario, you're gonna have to move that cart, man. But it is what it is. Like to say, G-Man don't show no mercy to no type of classics at all whatsoever. Whatsoever. Man, you really don't see a lot of these. I mean, even if you do, they're in pretty poorly shape. But this one right here, this one right here is in all right shape. It's in pretty good shape. It really is. Dash is missing. Like always, that's pretty typical on Chevy's. Door panel on that side is okay. The seat is all right, just need a little love. It's all. It's got a few little good parts on it. Truck bed is all right, I mean, it's not too, too bad. It's not too, too bad at all. I mean, she got a little rust back there in the back, but that's normal. Got a little bit of small ding right there. That's all right. Roof still look good. The hood, it's in pretty good shape. Fenders, they're in pretty good shape too, also. Ain't got no grill. Motor been taken all apart. Yep. Upper room status, baby. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna push in the doors or anything. Just gonna let it crush down just like that. Sight. I am gonna push the door in at least. Stand up, man. She is done for. Okay, right there, but she is flat tight. Flat and tight. Man. Man, she fit right off in there just like a glove. Whoo, man. That damn bus still got me tired from yesterday. Actually, those several of buses that we did yesterday still got me tired. Body aching, every damn thing. Man, hands hurt, fingers hurt. <sighs> Pulling, tugging, cut this, pull that, drag this, drag that. God damn. But I'm glad I'm at the off for today. Hopefully tomorrow too. Hopefully. We'll just see how they go. Well, this sucker right here is heavy too. Man. That makes two heavy truck bundles. <laughs> 